good morning and welcome to today's upload. My name's Emma, make sure you stick around and subscribe because I do all sorts of fun hauls, vlogs, chats and today I'm back with a, a nice vlog. I mentioned in our last vlog that um, my mum was going to come round um, for Eurovision Song Contest fun. You by now will know who has won. I know, it won't be England. <laughs> Great Britain never win. They haven't won for years. Um, so, I'm really looking forward to that. And uh, you've been watching me for so long now and it's just been me and my house. I thought it'd be nice to introduce a couple more people into the vlog. You know, we don't just wanna see Emma all the time by herself. Um, so, first of all, we popped out today Erin, um, you will know, loves reading. I'm actually balancing you on her bookcase. She absolutely loves reading. And ever so often, I ask her to make like a um, a book which wish list on Amazon. So she goes into my Amazon and just puts books that she really wishes that she wants. And um, then... So one thing I don't mind getting, and I don't mind getting books, I don't mind getting her books, but we do like to go to the second-hand bookshop and she really wanted Mallory Towers. So, guys, we went out today to um, a second-hand bookshop and I said, you know what, Mallory Towers, which is by Enid Blyton, is the kind of thing that you would definitely get in a second-hand bookshop. She also wanted... Um, Mallory Towers and Five Children and It. Some of the other books she reads, if you were looking for books for like 10 year olds, she loves Dork Diaries, she loves David Walliams, she loves Diary of a Wimpy Kid, um, she loves um, Jacqueline Wilson, that kind of stuff. She has also been reading some Tom Fletcher. She's currently reading this is another one, this is from a National Trust second-hand bookshop, and this is only 50p. She's currently reading A Year in the Life of a Total and Complete Genius, which is 50p. She likes ones that are like diaries. Anyway, we walked in. They had the Mallory Towers. So they had a number two, seven, eight, nine, and 10 of the Mallory Towers books. So I got her those for her to read. Love it. They were, some were 99p, some were 199 So that's brilliant. So she's got those to read. She always has, she's got all her books here and then she has a pile over there of books that she's, you know, her kind of go-to read pile, like um, what she wants to read in the future. I also, um, we also got her Jacqueline Wilson starring at Tracy Beaker. This is 249 She has... Got a couple of other Jacqueline Wilson ones. The second-hand bookshop ones are always really good for, I've always noticed, they're always Jacqueline Wilson. They've always got Enid Blyton. They've always got um, David Walliams books. And um, she wanted a dictionary for schoolwork. So we've got this. I think this is, is 2 .99. And then Ethan. Um, Ethan isn't a huge reader. Um, it might be just because he's a bit younger. It's something we're encouraging in him. But he he loves books about weird things like record breakers or, um, oh, what's that weird museum where they have weird things in it? Oh, Ripley's. So we got him the thousand, thousands of freaky, scary, gross, incredible and simply unbelievably true facts. So we got him that. And also... I popped to Superdrug and just got some little offers. I haven't been in for a while, but I got uh, a buy one, get one free bubble bath. So I got Radox. Um, I went for the Feel Heavenly, which is like a coconut one. And I thought, ooh, that'll be like a holiday. I got that one and I got Feel Relaxed, which is a lavender one. These face masks are brilliant and whenever I see them on offer I always make sure I get them because they're so nice just before bed and they were £1.50 so I picked up a couple of um, moisture bomb tissue masks in lavender they're great they're so oh they're so nice and finally 
um, Stephen and Ethan share a shower gel and um, Erin and I do and these are two for five pounds these are brilliant and also you can use them as shaving foam as well so I picked vanilla orchid and jungle flowers Erin went for beach blossoms and bejeweled a bejeweled fruit what on earth is a bejeweled fruit I don't know but that's what she wanted yeah, these are two five pound. These are great. Up to 40 showers per pack. I'd say one of these probably lasts the two of us a month. Um, but you can use it as um, shaving foam. And if you follow me on Instagram, if you don't, I would love to see you over there. I do loads of silly reels and stories and stuff. I've been having very bad problems with my teeth. Went to see... I was going to say the vet. I didn't go to see the vet because that would be bonkers. <laughs> I went to see the dentist and he's put like a temp filling in and he gave me antibiotics and he also said to salt mouth wash and I have to wait another few weeks to go back. It's killing me. So I picked up some of this aura gel which some of you suggested. So I'm going to try this as well and see what happens. But if it's still bad on Monday, I've decided I'm going to phone up and see if I can get a cancellation. I think that's what I need to do. Right, I'm going to put all this stuff away and then you're going to come with me and we're going to get ready for my little Eurovision soiree. So we as a family, as in my side of the family, Stephen just tolerates the Eurovision. We love, love. My sister is obsessed love the eurovision song contest one year it's our dream to all go together one year it's our dream to enter the eurovision song contest so we love it um we've always had like little parties we've always got together for eurovision song contest obviously it wasn't on last year and we couldn't get together and also my mom has not been in my house hadn't had a house tour hasn't been in it since we moved in in october so um she's coming over um, I've got some like little cakes and sweet treats. The kids are going to stay up late. So that'll be really fun. They're going to have um, get ready for bed and then stay up. Mom is going to be introduced to the rats and the hamster. Because when we go away she's kindly offered to look after them for us. Um, I had pet rats before and she looked after them. So she's like yay I get to look after pet rats. That's really nice. So she's going to be introduced to the rats. And I'm really looking forward to it. I'm going to put this stuff away. Um, wait for the kids to get back. They're currently um, popped in to see their other nan. Um, and then Steve and I are going to try and find my Eurovision bunting. I don't know where it is. I think it's at the very back of the storage. So it's going to be a bringing all the boxes out, finding the bunting, put it all back scenario. But it needs to be done. I need my bunting up. Right, let's put these books away. Time to find the bunting. It's in here. Right, it's not. <laughs> it's not in that. And it's not in that one. It's in a big one. Um, there's no big ones down that side. I'm guessing it's over here. So I need my muscle man to come and help me move some stuff. And he, as you can imagine, is thrilled. So it's not these. We have an Easter, we have an Easter, and we have a Christmas. We have two reward boxes. Um, the kids get a little thing out of their reward box each week. And we have some homeware. So, yay! He's found it because he's a legend and it's not right at the back, it's just there. So good news. I need a hero, I'm holding out for a hero to the end of the night. Steven's found it. Now I'm hoping has he found it. Some red, white and blue bunting. <gasps> We've got our flags. Yay! Dee -dee 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 -dee. Somewhere I have a British cake tray. 
So it'd be good if I could find that as well. Yeah, more flags. Um, I feel like there should be some more bunting in here. I've been collecting this guys, some of this is pre-children, look at that, yes, oh my gosh that's beautiful, right let me get this stuff out. yay, I found flags, oh look, a bit of tape at the top because obviously they're broken, I found some flags, I found um, some reusable little glasses that we must have had at a party sometimes, thought that went with the theme, um, found various blue and white bunting we've got the checkered I found these little glasses that I feel were from oh, maybe Harry and Meghan's wedding they'll do some Union Jack bunting different style of Union Jack and a different style of Union Jack bunting so I am Sorted for a Eurovision song contest party. So I can just put some of this up in the living room. Be super fun. However, I'm sad to say, guys, my Union Jack cake tray was not in here. So maybe that is in, not in, not in here. So maybe that's in the kitchen. So we've just hung some bunting, some daft bits of bunting everywhere. Um... <laughs> So that's fun and cute. I need to find my, um, I don't know where my Union Jack cake stand is. Uh, I'm gonna have a look in here because this is where I keep all like cake stand. This is Lucy's eating her dinner. That's what you can hear that clattering. So I'm gonna have a little look up here or it might be in one of these and see if I can find it. Okay, I've definitely lost the plot. I've done like a little um, sweetie buffet and cakes. So we've got jelly beans and banana foam things, dolly mixtures and some teeth, some retro flying saucers. You've got some big chocolate buns. These are in my lovely Disney bowls, um, which I love. And we've got some cakes. The kids could pick one thing they really wanted. And then over here, this is for my sister because she is she doesn't eat sugar so these are all no added sugar sweets and then she can just take those home with her these are our favorite crisps this is my primark bowl and these are the cups and we will just drink out of them and toast and celebrate and then i made everybody like a little ethan go away not yet <laughs> made everybody like a little bag and i put in it a school card and a pen and then called it something so Gina E, like Gina G, and we've got uh, Stephen Ball, like Michael Ball. So if you're not from England, they're people who did well in the original song contest. So just that, just a little, some little treats, and then we'll have a drink and wave our flags and do a scorecard. But I thought that was cute, just for, just for a little, you know, they can get the pick and mix, put it in the bag, sit on the couch, and watch the fun. Ready. I've got on a um, old, really old denim dress with a nice belt. If you saw my Instagram, add a belt, um, which was from Primark, and I absolutely love it. I love it. It's gorgeous. It's like a fake, a faux. Um, Ethan's just stood staring at the pick and mix. <laughs> He's like, I want a pick and mix. Um, so I'm just waiting for my mum and my sister to come and we'll do a little house tour for my mum and my sister seeing it. Then we'll sit down and we'll watch Eurovision filling in the, we're going to fill in the, um, what's it called? Scoreboard things. I'm not sure you've ever managed to stay up late enough to watch Eurovision. Erin has a few times. I don't know what Eurovision is. It doesn't know what Eurovision is. Erin has a few times. We didn't have it last year. Um, I think before you might have gone to bed, but Erin's done it a few times. What is Eurovision? It's just lots of songs from different parts of Europe, and they sing a song, and you have to vote who's the best. And mm -hmm. there's some crazy songs on there. 
and the people are singing on the stage. People singing on the stage, and there's some, there'll be some daft entertainment. If you're an American or Canadian, they don't have that. Follow, I don't, you don't have it, and it is bonkers. Let me know if you have anything similar. We're all having fun. The Eurovision party is going on. We're just waiting for um, Great Britain to come on. Um, Mum, come and speak to the people that haven't seen you for a year, I don't think. <laughs> She's back. She's back. I've just zoom, 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 zoom. You haven't seen her for a year and that's what you, more than a year, I can't even remember the last time I've done a video. So we're having fun, watching your vision. Erin, who do you like so far? Come and tell the people. I'm coming in first. Who do you like so far then? Malta. Malta. Yeah. Yeah. Mmm. The sweets have all pretty much gone. <laughs> The donuts. Well, we've got a couple of donuts left. It's got my name on it. Oh, all the strawberry laces have gone. On this has got have my you had name a donut? On it. Have you had one? No. Have you had one? No. This, this no. Has got have my you name. had one? No. This has got my name on it. Uh, <laughs> so it's going well, but we've got to go and watch England now, and um, not England, sorry, Great Britain, Great and cheer Britain. them on, and it's mayhem. Mum and Claire have gone home. They went, um, there's two more songs to go. And they went, because Claire, it's a very long story. She wanted to get home, to be in her own house, to do the scorings, because she knows we'll all end up going to bed. But it was so nice. It was so nice to have them round. It was so much fun. Oh, little Liz, she's going <laughs> Oh, little Lucy. I think she's just so confused about having people in the house. So she seems to be a little bit... She's like a bit like, a bit on edge, so she's just running around a bit. Um, I'm gonna, I've tied it up, but I'm gonna put the bunting, you can't see it, I'm gonna take the bunting down and put it all away nicely. I'm gonna fold my glasses up. You will see them next year for next year's Eurovision Song Contest. I'm gonna clean the blue glasses and they will go away as well. Um, I had a few comments on my Instagram about this dress. It's like dark denim. Stephen's wearing denim as well, and it's from Joni. It's very old. I think it's three, four years old, but it's still on the site. I'll leave a link below. Um, it's got pockets. Uh, add a belt. I need to add a belt. And it's got pockets. Everything is better with pockets. Tomorrow we are going to go to the cinema for the first time um, in, I don't know how long. I can't even remember the last time I went to cinema. Um, so when we get back, we'll do a little, what was it like at the cinema? We're going to see Peter Rabbit 2. I'm looking forward to seeing Cruella de Vil as well when it comes out. All in all, an excellent night. Really nice to have mum back in the house. Lovely to see my sister again. And I think hopefully we'll go over to mum and dad's house in half term. Right, time to get the kids to bed. It's the next day. We just have come back from the cinema. We went to see Peter Rabbit 2. And I have to say... It was really good. Usually, I like what is known as a mum nap. A mum nap in the cinema. Get in, recline, coat over, little sleep. I didn't have a little sleep. Um, so, it was really good. We took the bunting down to put back. So, I'm going to go and put that back upstairs. For next year, I'll just wait for the, um, the glasses to dry. And we're going to have some lunch. And then I'm going to have a little bath. And I thought I'd show you what makes a nice bath. Nice bit of pamper time. Um, I didn't wash the, the, kid, the kids are rowing upstairs. Um, I didn't uh, wash the hair today. It, curls are always a bit better on the second day. But I'm going to have a nice bath. I'm going to have my lunch, have a nice bath, show you what kind of stuff I like to have in the bath the products are like um this afternoon is a real chilled afternoon i think ethan's got to finish his homework erin's already done hers and they're probably just we're just gonna hang out watch telly play on the computers we'd love to know what you usually do on a sunday we did go for a big walk yesterday so hang on two seconds 
stopping children from rowing is part of parenting more than one child. Um, yes, yeah, so we're just going to have a nice relaxing afternoon and then get ready for the week ahead. I've got some nice fun work stuff to do this week. I need to start, I need to paint those drawers, you know. I painted the one drawers and I've got the paint for the big drawers. But it's just the weather's not very nice and you don't really want to do it inside. Where is the sunny weather? Um, in half term, I will be doing, I'm going to go, we're going to go out to places. So let me know if you want to see vlogs where we are out of the house. Vlogs, people tend to like, prefer vlogs where we're in the house. But I thought maybe a couple of day out kind of vlogs might be quite nice. Watching Peter Rabbit made me think I really want to go to London. Because some of it was set in London. I'd quite like a nice London day out. So I might ask mom if she wants to come with me and the kids in uh, half term. I'd like to just go and have a mooch around London. Maybe go and do some nice food things. Stephen will be working so. And he'll be working from home some of the week. So it might be quite good if we get out of the house for the day. But I shall ask her and rest today. Right, I'm going to have lunch and then I'll come back for pamper chat with them. Hello, guys. I'm the downstairs bathroom, which is the only bath room. We've only got two bathrooms, but it's the only bathroom where we have a bath. So we have a bath downstairs. I've got a bit of a new dressing gown on that somebody sent me. And it says, Emma on it. How fancy is that? But I thought I'd show you my pampers up. I have a bath about once a week. I'm in a shower regularly but i have a bath once a week that is actually not about washing my hair it's about relaxation so i thought i'd show you the products that i love really helps me get to sleep um so you would have seen earlier i this is my favorite bubble bath i love radox feel relaxed lavender and water lily so i put some of that in and then my favorite bath bomb of all time and if you follow me on instagram you'll all be thinking bath bomb bath bomb is this twilight it is oh it just smells like going to bed so i have um lavender bubble bath with the twilight bath bomb and then i have i give myself like a um cleanse so i have like a nice clean flannel um and i use this melting gel cleanser so it's like uh, it's like a gel but it like melts onto your face so i use that and give my face a good scrub then i use the garnier skin active moisture balm also in lavender do you see the theme and that's on for 15 minutes and while this is on i will generally watch something on my laptop Today, I think I'm going to watch uh, Motherland Series 3. I like to really unwind. I don't like to kind of scroll on my phone, look at my phone or message people. I like to just watch something that's nothing to do with social media, really, and just relax. So, put that on. And I usually have a drink at the same time. So, for example, sometimes I might have a hot chocolate. Sometimes I might have a like a little cocktail in a tin. Tonight I'm gonna have a chamomile tea. Um, so I have a little drink and have that on for 15 minutes. Then I use the Sleepy Shower Gel. All of the Sleepy products are great. And I know when you look online or if you're going to Lush, you might be like, oh my gosh, they're a bit expensive. But they're well worth it. So the Sleepy Shower Gel, I use that. Um, and then once I've got out of the bath, I use the Sleepy Body Lotion, which I've recommended a bazillion times. It is, it's um, dip into a dream painted in brush strokes of gentle oatmeal infusion and lavender flower. It, I can't, it smells like cake, but not like cake. Don't know how to describe it, but it reminds me of cake. And when the kids have a bath, they also both have a nice relaxing bath once a week. We use this. It is great. It gives you crazy dreams, but it really relaxes you. So they're all kind of the, that's all the stuff that I like to do. Obviously, I've got fresh pajamas, nice towel. Um, then I get out and usually watch something with Stephen. Uh, I like my bath very hot. In fact, if I could have my ha my bath burning hot, which the water in this house does not seem to get to, I would. Uh, so I just it's not a hair wash. I'll wash my hair in the shower tomorrow it's just like a 
relax and cleanse and get ready and watch telly in peace and quiet and it's lovely. Um, I tend to do it actually when the kids are at a club. They both go to a club once a week at the same time and Stephen um, works out. Crazy. Works out when you can have a bath and I have a bath. But uh, I missed it this week, so I'm going to have one tonight and relax and unwind and get ready for the week ahead. As I said, we have got some fun days out coming up soon. And if you'd like me to film out of the house, let me know. Um, I think we're going to try and get to London for a day trip. Um, we've got Alton Towers, bank holidays coming up. So all sorts of fun bits and bobs that isn't in my house. I hope you're all well and safe where you are. Um, one of you is from Canada and I know it's a bit strict where you are at the moment. Um, and then on the opposite end of the spectrum, somebody's watching from Sydney who's like, oh no, it's been great where we are for ages. It's bonkers that we're all living through this time, but all in like different stages. So ooh. I hope you enjoyed this video. A little bit of family life, a little bit of pampering, a little bit of a haul, a little bit of Nanny Sam. Maybe we can get more of her in the next video. I love you lots. And I will see you in a few days for another upload.